let's go for Cinder Gosam. This is the same that Rattle deck I used um, in other videos like Blood Queen Lanathel and Professor Putricide, I think. Anduin versus Cindra Gosa. The light shall bring victory. You are a fool to come to this place. This is what makes him strong. You have four blocks of ice. This means you can only have three minions out at the same time. And when he gets to 20 health, he transforms all enemy minions, so your minions, into blocks of ice. Which means that if I have three minions and I trigger it by putting him below 20 HP, I have 7 blocks of ice and I can't play any minions anymore, these are unremovable. Choose your victims with care. The cold hand of death will claim you all. You may be wondering, how do I get rid of these ice blocks? The answer is, you can. <laughs> Try to win this by first gaining control over the field and letting him get through his hand. And once he has to draw one card at a time, and only be able to play one card at a time, it would be a piece of cake until we mill him. Shall bring victory. You are a fool to come to this place. This is this one is good, but I have to play it smart. And Baron Living there. I think the game is sending me a message. I'm not going to need to spell damage. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Still. Your pathetic magic betrayed. I have forgot to mention this. He has this spell unchain magic. Deal three damage to the enemy hero for each spell in their hand. So don't make a deck with um, a lot of, um, of spells. Try to use them as fast as you can. See, he has a lot of them. He's a third already. The will come with me. 
<laughs> we just have to make sure he doesn't get on anyone. For a long time. Okay, this kills it, because I have Baron. And that's you. We're going to need the HP. is a really good one to get. If you have this card, put it in basically any adventure deck. But this isn't good to get. Unless I play Amara right after it. To get Ragnaros and then get 40 HP. So let's just put that on the face and it's He's starting to run out of cards, that's a good thing. Feel like I shouldn't have said that. Wait, I have three HP if I hit him back. And maybe he to kill me if there is uh, 4 HP and he will still be able to kill me. I don't think the spell damage will matter. Um, so maybe it's best to just kill this one and leave it back. Take one more to face. I think he's going to want to use spell damage, maybe more spells, which deal damage to um, to my face increased by the amount of spells. So I should try this. This since it's free. And we don't have to heal this because we will kill it anyway. I hope. We'll need to pack a big punch to get my Kelsey's up. Which I can always kill with my Shadow Word Death. But I'm keeping this far. In case he doesn't do the job. I don't want to draw too many cards, so I have to replace this minion. Let's do this. This is a good one. A very good one to have. And this one, I guess, as well. So. Myself, and now I'm not going to attack face, and I'm not going to give away my Kelsuzot yet. I want to abuse their death rattles a few times. 
Oh, didn't see that one coming. <coughs> ah, this is fortunate. For the Dragon Queen. I could um, go below this when I have one minion, will be fine. But... He plays a dance. Three damage. Okay, so let's do this. And he is not holding the dragon. And let's just do it. As you can see now I have 5, then it goes again, let's put on a good minion, okay let's see we got a Mara that's good but we don't need him just yet. I can still take the 9 damage. It's no problem. It's very kind, Ludo. This is a better card to get uh, earlier in the game. Um, I want to keep one of my minions alive and kill one of these. I can do that by trading this, and we won't be able to kill this, yeah. That's good. Um, that's 4 damage. I need to heal myself. Can okay. get the weapon. And to myself. Okay, I don't need more card draw. I prefer to have more cards in my deck than him as much as possible. Uh, can kill this. Myself. Let's see. 
one cost pollution will be enough, so let's You are safe now. For honor. That's the gap one. One damage and destroy my own minion. I don't want to summon it. I still have Reno, so let's do freeze. Four damage won't be enough. So let's just. Should we call him off him or do we have not? Let's still call him off. Let's see what do we have now. We have six statues. Now we have five. So, so we could play a seventh minion. So it would be okay to attack next turn. Plenty of minions to play. I knew it, he had more. It's a quick way to deal with it. My traps. What? No minions for Syndragosa to freeze. Okay, now That's two damage. No problems. Uh, let's see what we do now. Um, we won't be able to kill this at once. We will be able to kill this at once. And it will require his minion, so let's hope he takes the bait so we next turn we can play something stronger. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Major Domo executives. No, he doesn't take the bait. See, I have free heal for two, so I can counter his hero power any turn. Them for a better minion. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. I feel like I should have held control over the game longer in the start to prevent to get this many ice blocks. Oh, this might just be what I need. Ragnaros, we might win it instantly, or he won't be able to kill it next turn. Yeah. Let's re-roll. I don't have to heal Ragnaros. He'll be able to kill it anyway. <laughs> okay, that's the end of Ragnarok, but he's out of cards. These are the last two he has. 
next up we know to play so many possibilities you will have to kill this but he can't oh yeah can what is your bomb but it is done so how I defeated him is by keeping control over the board until he runs, runs out of cards in his hand and eventually in his deck and then it is easier to kill him with fewer minions right, uh, so thanks for watching please like this video and subscribe if you want more content and when the next chapter releases in week 3 I will try to make videos on every class